Good morning, everybody. Johnny Rosario Reds. It's a nice, balmy Michigan day, as you can see with the snow and ice. We have Ted here. Morning. Ted is our gumball machine uh, artist, I guess we could call him, and he's bringing artist. some new. I like artist, right? So, how many machines have you brought in here today? I got four, four new ones. And this is Mrs. Ted. Hello. <laughs> That's the wife. Happy wife, happy, happy life, wife, right? Happy life. Ah, see. <laughs> So these are cool. We'll get, we'll get these inside and I'll show you guys a little closer up. Maybe Ted could give us a little uh, sneak peek into the madness that he has in uh, making these things. What do you think? That's a, that's a good idea, right? That's good. He looks like a madman. All right. We're gonna, he is. We're going to go inside. All right. So we got all the machines inside. Now, tell us about this. Tell us, like, how do you come up with these things? I know the Slimer one's been here for a while. Um, this is one that I really wanted, but we're going to end up selling him, I think. So... Um, are you sad? Me. It saddens me. It a does sad. It does kind of look like you, but it saddens me a little. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm sorry. It's, it's all right. What's the I'll, name? I'll of your, you came out, you finally came up with a name for your company. I'll so. give a name. It is Ted's Custom Gumball Emporium. That's Facebook. Spell Emporium for me. Um, e M P Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> you should have picked something a little easier to spell. <laughs> well, the wife sort of picked out the name. I yeah, just I had guess. To go with it. So all right. It so, works. so tell us about like how do you like how long does it take you to make one of these? For that machine, that was probably. It's almost a week from start to finish. Yeah. Uh, it's just between, it's, the teardown on the machine is sort of the hardest because it's got to be completely refurbished, sandblasted to make sure, you know, obviously it's, it's so it's safe to put gumballs in it to where someone's going to not get sick. Because some of those old ones are lead-based? Is that why? Or No, it's just, you get you get corrosion. Like, in the old storage, a gumball machine would, would be just facing sit in there, your window. Gotcha. For sitting for so long, the old gumballs are made of sugar, obviously. And it would start to dissolve, and then it's you get all the sugar in there. What happens? You get a lot of sugar. You can get bugs or uh, whatnot. Okay. So, so you're cleaning all the, the I, guts. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, thinking of the paint on the outside. Okay. It's just well, that the paint on the inside is just that's the only one aspect of it. Everything else, mechanical wise, has got to be completely stripped. It's got to be completely sanitized, clean, so it's safe to put back out into. Gotcha. You know, and for use, that's the hardest part. Sandblasting doesn't take that long. Then it's just a matter of figuring out the paint. It's got to be primer, paint, a couple coats, clear, yeah. uh, rub down, and then just figure out the thing that I want to go and make, and then... So you just come up with together. the stuff out of your brain. I know you do customs, too. Like I do you're... customs. I would prefer customs, because my brain capacity is only so large. We know. <laughs> well, we I know. Can, <laughs> I, can, I can only think of so many things, but I would prefer customs. So if someone wants a Spider-Man, uh, Punisher, Scooby-Doo, I would prefer doing that, whatever. It doesn't matter. So what we're thinking about doing is having Ted come in here at the store one day and just yes. kind of schedule him to come in. And if you guys want to come and sit down with Ted and uh, you know give him some ideas of stuff you're interested in and maybe do that so you can come meet him and you know pick each other's brains. So the cost on these is basically based on what's in it, right? I mean, they're it's all different. Based, yeah, they're all different, so based on what's in it. So obviously, if, if you have a Slimer, say, hey, man, I'm cool, I want to put that. You bring me your part, obviously the price of the machine is going to go down because I'm using what you have. Yeah goes down but if you have to go out and find but that if slimer I have to go out and find that slimer well obviously the price is going to reflect on what i got to put into it okay so but they're really cool he just brought in what five more four more four more so we're going to walk over here what's your favorite one you made so far sam sam yeah yeah that one's cool that yeah. one's not here That's, but that was my favorite so we're gonna we're gonna wander I think so, ted needs some walking noise do 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 all right so when you first walk in you're gonna be greeted by these two so we have jaws jaws and this is that now you can do these with any kind of mechs like this one's candy right yes this one's candy anyone can be changed this one actually takes candy this one takes gumballs okay or candy that's around that big gotcha. so it, it kind of depends on what somebody wants okay so but you could do the mech for like these are quarters i know you have one over here that's a penny yep Yep, it all depends on the age of the mech because the the most standard mech obviously are going to be twenty five cents. Yeah. The older the machine, you're going to have a five cent, a ten cent, and a penny. The penny machines or older machines, they're going to cost a little bit more because it's an older mech. Gotcha. They're harder to find. So which is why most of them are going to be twenty five cents. Okay. You know to keep the cost where. I and then the cost of the machine obviously is based on the, the actual vintage machine you use. Like like that one's plastic, so I'm assuming that would be a this one this would cheaper be a, a little, cost. The machine itself is a little cheaper. But obviously everything else wrapped up into yeah. it. I do have machines like obviously the Slimer, it's the glass machines, the Northwestern, so it's a little bit more involved. It's a bit more pricier machine. Okay. You know. So now this one doesn't do anything. This one just looks cool, right? So just you got Jaws. Cool. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see in there with a the reflection, but you got Jaws back there, and then you have the cool color scheme of the white and blue, and then you have this uh, Jaws down here at the bottom. 
that's really cool. Now that's just a, that's a what a mask? It's just a mask. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, the mask from uh, you said it was Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, Trick or Treat Studios. They do a really good job on masks. We get a lot of their prop replicas their masks and do stuff look too. Really great. And their masks look good. I mean, you you should probably well, be wearing should, one. I should probably be wearing one. Correct. <laughs> now we got to explain this one to us. This one actually does something, right? This one lights up. This is actually the uh, the newest prop from um, Spirit Halloween. It's an actual working proton pack. Okay. Press the button, she's gonna go. That's cool. So this would be cool for like your man cave, or if you have like somewhere where you just like you collect Ghostbuster stuff. You that's gotta cool. Have it. Yeah. You gotta have it. And obviously, the, the way I made this one, if you want to take it off, you can actually take the proton pack off. Oh, that's cool. So you can wear the proton pack. If you want to wear it. Yep. How often do you? How often know. were you running around the house wearing that thing? Only five times. Only five. O Are you sure five. you counted? I'm gonna ask your wife. Well, you might want to ask her. It may have been six. <laughs> Maybe six or seven. <laughs> so that's cool. Yep. And then we have a couple more over here. Look, we got the librarian action figure. You need that. No. I'm but hey, you know what? I, you know what I have? That's I have strange favorite. friends. I mean. <laughs> All right, so we got some more back here. You got three more plus the Negan one. Yes. All right, so Negan, that's a candy machine. Yep. Candy so this machine. one's pretty cool. You got um, Lucille, right? Lucille. Lucille's the bat. This one's cool. You got the little uh, Stay Puff one in here. Now these are these are gumballs, so you can see how big the hole is in there. So that's I guess how big the candy. How big the candy is? Right? Yeah, yeah, gummer candy. Yep. You got a little Stay Puff guy down here. That one's cool. Now this one lights up, right? The Beetlejuice one I think is cool. I like this color scheme you did with it and everything. Yep, I tried to match the the, the color scheme obviously of um, uh, Beetlejuice himself. Don't say it again. And I faded <sighs> no only you know only three times. I say it one more time. Beetlejuice. There, hey, got but... it out of the way. <laughs> the paint I kind of faded it and made it look kind of like Beetlejuice looks. He's got yeah, the moss. He's not a hundred percent, which I kind of replicated that. Then obviously I got the tombstone, which does light up. That's cool. That thing's cool. I like how you got the keychain with the uh, little Beetlejuice on it. Yep. That's neat. And then this one here is another Jaws one, right? Yep. This one has Quint on the inside, the Funko Pop. And instead of using a um, an actual match list, I just put a buoy on there. They were using them in the movie. Yeah. And put a really nice gloss on the bottom of the base on this one. Yeah, that looks really nice. And this one is an older machine. It's an older mech, so it actually is a penny. And these panels are glass. Okay. So now... You have how many of these machines? Because I know you you sent me a picture of you have like the trailer loads of vintage gumball machines. So I have way too many. <laughs> I have a whole garage that is just a shed that's full of them. I have about three hundred fifty machines total. So I can make quite a bit of machines. Yeah. Okay. Quite a bit of machines. So you guys might remember when was the first time like, I met Ted when he was supposed to sell me GI Joes and he sold them to someone else instead. I someone else that was way cooler. No, so. that's impossible. <laughs> well, I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry. It was someone else. And I came out and we showed you his shop. Yes. And uh, I'll put a link in the to that video somewhere up right there right on ted but um so he does all this stuff yes. it's awesome it's good quality stuff um we have another one upstairs it's a hellraiser one i moved it upstairs one, yeah. um but that one you said you might be taking to a show yeah i'm gonna take that to a show and then bring stuff that's more oriented for yeah it was kind of scary and i had yeah. it down here and there's a lot of kids that were coming in with santa claus here so i figured eh, it's probably not the best one to have down and it's heavy is very that one's heavy, heavy. yeah. That very one's very heavy. heavy. But these are cool, guys. Um, Ted's going to give me some prices on these. We'll, we'll have them all priced out, and they will be here if you are interested. So, we've got one, two, three, four, what? Here, five, six. So, we've got seven of them in the shop. Seven in the shop. And now, you do make tabletop ones that don't have the posts. Like, yes, would, would make, just be like this. I can make just the machine. Like you said, yeah, if you want a, a tabletop, you on top of a bar, I can make it just for that without the stand. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, for all right. sure. Sweet. All right, well, we are going to, um, we have some uh, people here. So this is copper. Oh, you turned around. You didn't want to be, but I have my air. Did you see the on-air signs on? That means you might be on the video. I just brought that in. So now you have a YouTube channel too, right? Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Well, tell us about your channel. Uh, copper Age Gold. I, I try to do as much uh, figure content as possible. I, I have all kinds of entertainment news. You know, if it's out there, it's entertaining. That's my thing. Cool. So I know you're on our YouTube channel because I yep. recognize the name. Absolutely. And I saw this. So. All right, guys, check out his channel. Um, Ted doesn't have a channel because he barely knows how to I use the internet. <laughs> Ted, 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 Ted is uh, very, very archaic and old. I, ju I just now got on Facebook. For he did. How long has it taken you to get on Facebook? Well, I'm almost 50, so <laughs> well, since it's been how long has Facebook been on? I, don't, I, don't I have know. no clue. I just got on. I'm helping him with it. Thank so. you. All right, guys, I got some other customers in here, but I'll catch you next time. Sorry, yeah.